and not allow any movement in the other two axes at all, that is to say roll or yaw. This is the angle that is calculated to give them the um, best advantage from their retro rockets, of which there are four, and uh, they fire at about five second intervals to start them down. They're solid fuel rockets, aren't they, Frank, for uh -huh. reasons of stability, reliability? And the astronauts say they can really feel it when they, uh, when they go off. They can tell that they're slowing down perceptibly. The, their velocity at the time of retro fire is about 16,360 miles an hour. And they'll be roughly 155 miles high. That's nautical miles. Actually, they don't have to slow the speed a great deal. Not much. To uh, bring it out of orbit. Oh, Haney has an announcement. This is Gemini Control, Houston, 70 hours, 8 minutes into the flight. Young and Collins will retrofire this afternoon at an altitude of 202 nautical miles. This is some 42 miles higher than we've normally fired in past Gemini flights. But entirely in keeping with the altitude record this crew has already set when they reached an apogee of 413 nautical miles. At the time of retrofire, the, the spacecraft will be moving at 25,600 feet per second approximately. They will have just passed apogee. They will be aligned in a 20 degree pitch down maneuver. Uh, minus 30 seconds to retro. And we're 30 seconds away from retrofire. This will be a three-way retrofire countdown. The crew will count down on board, as will the capsule communicator here in the control center, C.C. Williams, and also Tom Golden, our retrofire officer, will also be joining in the count. They're counting. Six, five, four, Three, two, one, retrofire. sequence normal. He's assured from the ground that he, it looks good. He read out his attitudes and he apparently got four good retros. They fire sequentially, all four of them, uh, imparting a total change of velocity of 320 feet per second, which is enough to cave in his orbit and bring him in. Two sequences you saw in our animation was first the equipment section going away so that the retro rockets could be exposed, and then after they fired, the retro section. We're dropped showing away. one minute and 25 seconds since retro fire. Hawaii should pick up the spacecraft in a very few minutes. Meanwhile, we will re-rack the um, retrofire voice communication and play it in its entirety. This special NBC News report has been brought to you by the Gulf Oil Corporation, producers of more and better energy from oil. This program was produced by NBC News, which is solely responsible for its content.